I'm going to show you a way of how to sharpen up some of your best pictures. You might find your pictures are very good, but sometimes they can do with a little bit of sharpening. And in this case, I'm going to use the program Picasa, which I've got minimised down here. And I've got two photographs here, just loaded down here for ease of use. If I bring this one up, here's a typical blurred photograph. Now, if you've got a photograph as blurred as this, forget it. No amount of sharpening is going to improve this picture. So let's go back to the library and use this picture down here. Now that is a super picture, but let's see what we can do to sharpen it up a bit. If we go to effects here up on the left hand side and you go to sharpen, watch what happens. See how the folds on this boy's shirts have suddenly become more crisp. If you want any more proof, we can undo the sharpen by clicking here. And we're back to square one and they've got a slightly blurred outline. Whereas redoing the sharpening really crisps everything up. While we're at it, it's also rather tilted over to the left. Why don't we see if we can straighten it up a little bit? In this case, we need to go to basic fixes and straighten, which I've dealt with previously in another tutorial, but repetition always bears fruit. When you click the sharpening tool, you get this grid overlying the picture and this bar here. And if we start moving this bar, that is obviously the wrong way. But if we move it this away, we can get the edge of the pool so that it's nice and straight. We've still got the sharpening, but we've straightened the picture out. Let's apply that and see what happens. Now we've got the sharpened picture and we've been able to straighten it again. Let's see what happens if we undo the straighten. There it is, tipped over. We can also undo the sharpen and we're back to the original picture. So redo the sharpening and redo the straightening and we've got a much better picture.